Hello and welcome dear viewers. The word state can define a number of somewhat ambiguous and overlapping concepts. For the purpose of this program we're going to be using the definition given on the screen from the Free Dictionary. One of the more or less internally autonomous territorial and political units composing a federation under a sovereign government. And I've emphasized the last four words, under a sovereign government. The term sovereign is equal to dictator essentially, it means a supreme power or authority. A semantic and conceptual trap occurs when historians in status societies attempt to describe stateless societies. For example, they may use the term king to refer to certain civic positions in a stateless society, this being the nearest conceptual match. Now, an unfortunate consequence of this is that all the conceptual baggage of statism gets carried along and projected onto the stateless society. So please keep this in mind as we move on to the next slide where I think things will become a lot clearer. So the model for the stateless society I'm using is medieval Ireland and you can see these so-called kings and chieftains and at the bottom level sort of tenant class and the legal system was a separate entity of privately working professionals and they administered common law and they were bound by precedent so they couldn't just make up any old new laws. Furthermore um, these legal entities and their laws defined the civic structure uh, so they actually defined all of the powers of the kings and chieftains, what they could and couldn't do, what their privileges were and so forth. So essentially these were like job descriptions for the different civic roles. The role for the so-called kings were largely religious and military. The kings could not make law according to their own will. Furthermore, these kings were elected by their subordinates and in addition the subordinates were not bound or forced to obey their superiors if they didn't like the edicts or instructions they could ignore them. In the ancient Irish legal systems all persons appearing in court appeared as individuals. The same laws applied to the tenants, the chieftains and the kings. There were no special classes with privilege to give you immunity from the common law. Let's now contrast with the statist society. The statist society is defined by the existence of an institution called government. This is a corporate legislature and it's also unbound. There's no restrictions on the kind of laws it can make. You know, if it wants to prevent people from having purple teddy bears then it can do that if it wants to. Also in a statist society the subordinate local or regional governments have to obey all of the laws made by the central government. There's no sort of autonomy or opt-out. Although in reality there may be some degree of non-compliance. So to summarise, in the stateless society the legal system is essentially a dispute resolution organisation, whereas in a status society the legal system is essentially a chain of command. Thanks for listening and I do welcome your feedback and questions.